Hi everyone, I am so excited because we now stock these absolutely gorgeous NDIS planners. Now, as both a parent and a therapist, I know how valuable these planners can be and I know how overwhelming dealing with NDIS can be. So this is just a little walkthrough of what your planner would look like if you wish to purchase one. So it opens up, you've got these gorgeous pockets and a zip to put something in, um, whether it's a little bit of cash if you're somewhere or whatever it is. So this is our NDIS planner. We start with an overview. So that's all the participant information, personal information, school, um, respite, next of kin, we've got support worker information, planning manager and some notes. We've also got medical conditions, diagnosed, um, any reports that have been submitted to NDIS, other medical needs. We've got a couple of contact pages here because there's always lots of people that you need to keep email address and phone numbers of. And this is the participants' goals pages. So you've got different dates and milestones they reach some of their goals, what informal supports they have, what funded supports they may have. So there's a few pages of them there. We have got weekly routines. So this is um, like on Monday, What maybe what you want to suggest to the support worker that they might do. Um, just different bits and pieces. These are for things that happen most weeks. Because as you know, um, having a routine is everything. Now this is all about funding. So we've got a funding overview for your capacity building funding. So you've got your total funding amount, um, funding details and amounts that are allocated to each funding, in-kind support details, you've got your capacity building funding, so that's more there. Then you go on to your core supports funding, capital supports funding. And this is needs and items, the next section. So we've got a list where you can keep track of all your consumables, your assistive technology, there's some more for just other, general. And these are all the different supports. So you've got your core supports. So here you can put your item details, the cost agency you went through. Um, do you need approval first? Um, you can keep track of the approval process and to have some notes. So that's always a good section to try and stay organized. So there's a few there that you can keep going. We've got the same thing for your capacity building supports. There's a few pages of that. Now this is for your capital support, so same thing. Just to keep track because you can end up with so much paper and reports and this and that and receipts and invoicing and talking about invoicing. This is to keep track of your invoicing. So you've got spot here for your invoice number, your details, how much it was pay if it's been paid into your account. So this is mainly for people that are self-managed. So you can mark down what data got paid into your account and when you paid it to the company. So again, this is for self-managed. So you've got a fair few pages here because I know some of you can go through a lot of invoicing. So these are ones that if you're a plan managed or agency managed, you can still keep track of the same things, except you just don't have a column of where it's gone. The NDIS money has gone into your bank. So again, there's quite a few pages to keep track of your invoicing. Okay. This one's for a budget, your budget tracking. So you can keep track of how much you're spending and how much you've got left. So you've got your core supports, um, your therapies, how many sessions you've had, how much money you've, you've been allocated, how much has been spent and how much is remaining. So that's always another hard one to keep track of. And um, what 
amounts of money are coming out where so we've got capital supports so you've got all your sections for your budgets here next thing is appointments so these, these NDIS planners cover a lot so you can keep everything in one place instead of you can put your files and your invoices away and forget about it and just keep track in here of course you need to keep your paperwork in case you get audited but this is just like one place where you can keep everything organized so it doesn't become overwhelming so this is to keep track of all your different appointments so you've got the therapy and the type of the appointment when what time um, where it is any notes how much it cost and an invoice type so there's quite a few of these pages so I'll just flick through them these are to-do lists I know um, as an NDIS parent you have a lot of things going on in your head and sometimes it's good just to get them out of your head on onto paper so these are just your basic to-do lists so you can brain dump if you think of something just write it down here and because um, you can't always deal with, with things as they arise so you can make a note to deal with it later so oh, that was some more invoice tracking I must have just not filed that properly I'll have to fix it up so now you come into your actual calendar and the planner side so in here each month will start with you know if there's birthdays or goals or events or things that need to be done that month and you'll have a full month spread here so you can look at the month in one go and you'll always know where you're at so next we're going into weekly so if you're like me I like to have my full week I like to be able to open it up and see what's happening for the week so in each month you will get a monthly spread and you'll also get your weekly spreads for the month so that goes right down all your different months down here right until the end and at the end you have some notes that you can write things down in the back so all of the planners um, come with a gorgeous cover they have all different styles we've got floral designs we've got plain colors such as this blue one and we've got quite a few more in the studio so if you're an NDIS parent or carer and um, you think something like this might help you, please send us a message or give us a call on 0429 538 930 and I'll let you know what covers that we've got left and what bundles we have left. And if you want any extra inserts like your key, a key dates page, um, it might be you might want to write down um, this week just some notes that you need to do and anyone that um, buys a journal between um, March and April will go on the draw to win this gorgeous weekly notepad so remember just pop me a message if there's anything that you need to know oh, sorry about my nails I've been painting and um, I hope that we can help you stay organized with one of these gorgeous planners